Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lala. I'm so excited to welcome Lane Garrison to the show. We are celebrating the home entertainment release of the Iron Orchard. Yes, yes, that's right. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry about your voice. No, 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 I know you're a trooper for being here. But um, I'm really pumped about this movie. It comes out August 6th on demand and on Blu-ray, DVD, streaming, uh, on iTunes, etc. And it released in February 22nd. Uh, of this year in theaters. And I went around the country meeting everybody. I did about 32 Q and A's. And the response for this film has just been incredible. Wow. It was made on a true independent budget. Mm -hmm. And it looks like a $30 million studio film. And it, wow. it won Best Picture in Rome, in Greece, wow. in Madrid, at AFF, Lone Star, um, kind of across the country. It's been received just incredible. And we did it in 24 days. Wow an epic that covers about 20 years of this man's life who I played, Jim McNeely, so. Let's take a look at the trailer for yeah. The Iron Orchard. Oil men want respect. It's a disease, makes most crazy, others crooked, breaks the hearts of the strong and rewards a few lucky ones with wealth and power beyond their deserving. Jim McNeely. You came here with something to prove. Now, I don't know to who. This here's my ticket out of here, fellas. We're in the oil business now. I wish you'd let some of these deals pay out before we get in any deeper. They want you to shut down. I'm drilling a well right now that will pay off everybody. What are you going to do with more money? Where do you stop wanting? Wow, it's beautifully wow. done. Yeah, so, yeah, question yeah. for you. What is beyond the power grade? What is there for you? In my own life? Yeah. My my 11 month old daughter who kept me oh. up all night. <laughs> so for me, yeah, that's been that's been the driving force Amazing. of my life and my my beautiful wife back home. I mean, for me, family's been everything. And that that's the driving force to the career. The movies are great. And I love what I do. But that's, you know, kind of why I do it. And what's beyond the power and greed in the movie? Well, that's why you gotta watch the movie. <laughs> I mean, if I answer that, nobody will see the film. I mean, it's got a really great twist. So a lot of people don't know this is based on a book from 1966. Mm -hmm. A guy by the name of Tom Pendleton, who was really Edmund Van Zant wrote this book and everyone from Elvis Presley, Paul Newman, Robert Redford, George Brevard were attached to play my character at one point and they could never get it made, Clint Eastwood. And uh, they finally cracked the script, my director, Ty Roberts, and uh, my manager who's behind camera right now, they, you know, these guys brought me this script and I read it on page one and I said, I'm in, this is beautiful writing. I didn't even know it was a book and uh, I'm just so happy that we, we did it. We, we made the film in West Texas in the middle of summer, which I do not recommend. It was, <laughs> it, yeah, it was 117 degrees for 17 straight days. Oof. And most of that film, as you see, it was done outside. And this crew was amazing. Wow. And uh, we didn't, because of independent budget, and we only had 24 days, I only had one or two takes and nothing was done in order. So they'd be like, you're 45 years oh. old. I'd throw on a fat suit, they'd gray my hair and they'd say, okay, now you're back to being 20 years old. And I'd strip in the middle of the field. And it was oh like doing a one man play. But for <laughs> me, it's been 20 years in the making for me. Wow. This has been a hard career. And for me to be number one on the call sheet and the lead of a film, uh, you know, kids go, how do I do it? I go, you put in, put in the work. Right. It was 20 wow. years I got out to, LA when I was 18 with $400 and like a broken down car. I was one of those kids mm. that, um, you know, I just worked really hard and I stayed Good true and, and believed yeah. myself. That is yeah. the Hollywood mm -hmm. dream. Even it on was. your Instagram, it's, it's so funny. It says from prison break to prison garden camp x-ray, someone better call Saul. Yeah, those were, those were, th I mean, you know, everyone asked me what's a favorite role and it, it always varies, but prison break kind of started my career and uh, I did a movie with Kristen Stewart called Camp X-Ray, which I always wanted to open the Sundance Film Festival, and we did that. It was kind of like there's checklist on the career, you know, you want to hit. And um, and I did Better Call Saul as well, the, um, the Breaking Bad spinoff. And so my career's been 
It's been great. I was telling him earlier, I said, it's, you know, it's a, like a roller coaster ride. You're going to have great moments and great highs and you're going to have lows. And I tell kids all the time that want to act and, you know, they think it's all movie stars and glitz and glam. I'm like, you just have to love it. You have to love what you do because there's going to be struggles. Wow. So thank you for being yeah. so honest and vulnerable about your journey. And congratulations on the massive success. Please thank remind you. everyone again where they can get the Iron Orchard so, this August. So August 6th, it'll be on demand. It'll be on iTunes and it'll be on Blu-ray DVD. And uh, check out theironorchardfilm.com. Is that right? And yeah. find, and follow, find <laughs> and follow you. Find and follow me on the Lane Garrison. And I'll, uh, trust me, you'll get sick of me talking about this movie because That's I'm so cool. proud of it. And it's just an incredible film. Congratulations. Congratulations. Stay tuned. We'll be back more on Good Morning Lawland.